So, today we're going to have a look at the Smart B1. We've already turned it on. This is the first thing you see when you turn it on. It wants to know where you are. So I'm going to choose English. Oof, a lot of options. I suppose Europe. Okay then. These are your various options. We're going to go straight away in the setup. See if we can figure out how to update the firmware. Firmware upgrade. Blah blah blah. Ignore non stable versions and let's go for no. And check. New firmware is available. Not best sealed versions. Uh, 110511 that we'll go for. Why not? Uh, it's just basically warning you saying it may destroy everything. Yes, we are sure. Ah. So to me, it needs internal storage to write the firmware to. I thought it would done it to the RAM. Evidently not. Okay, well let's go back then. Because I've actually got the firmware. Let's try it again. Install, yes, should find it hopefully. USB stick is flashing. Yep, USB storage, okay. So 77 meg. Ironically, it's downloading faster by this interface than it was on my computer. Let's see how long this process takes. So I'm packing it. It's probably extracting the files it needs and running a little check to make sure that they haven't been tampered with in any way. And of course it probably is the right firmware. It's not many media players you could update the firmware on online other than the dunes and the popcorns, I think it's just the Tivex models. So we're going from 10828 to 110511. During upgrade, screen may become blank, do not switch off the player or disconnect any storage during the upgrade, in case of disruption, the player may become unboxing. Okay. And uh, there is system storage, but uh, okay, I'll take your word for it. I think maybe what it does is it unpacks it to the hard, the USB stick originally and then to the RAM. Okay, it's doing a CRC check. The new firmware is basically going to fix a load of things and allegedly give me a brand spanking new interface, much like the Juno Max that we saw earlier. Probably takes longer to check the firmware file than it does actually install it. Okay, let's just update that. It's basically just saying it's updating flash memory, progress, and that's percentage going up, and how many bytes is done. 10% already, and a big warning sign saying just don't turn it off or disconnect. Yeah, while well, that's doing that, we'll talk about the remote. Same remote as the Max. In fact, same remote for the last couple of generations of June. Nice little grips at the back. Nice soft buttons to touch. Everything's in an easy place. Uh, that button there, which is zero, does go to. It's not immediately obvious. No backlighting. And I don't think it goes in the dark either. You can ignore that sound. It's just a, it's very windy today. Let me close it. Blind. Now you're halfway there. Feel free to skip this bit to the end.
Okay, basically let me know that the media player is working. Now is it going to tell me to press the restart button on the remote or press enter? With enter. Okay, so the media player is just rebooting. Got the loading screen. There you go. New interface. Really cool. Also, automatically grab the time and it knows where I am in the world and the temperature and the date. So, good to see that the interface is much the same as the Max. You can easily press the green button to change the skin to whatever you like. We'll go for mountains this time. Okay. So we play with the options.